Okay, the next big person on our list is um, John Bray. In 1914, John Bray opened John Bray Studios, which revolutionized the way animation was created. The cartoon studio operated basically from 1914 to 1928. Um, Earl, uh, Earl Hurd, uh, one of Bay, uh, Bray's employees, patented the cell technique. This involved animating moving object on transparent celluloid sheets. So instead of paper, right, and tearing it away, now you can actually do it on um, a clear piece of film that you can overlay on top of other maybe pieces of film and basically have layers. So, you know, transparent uh, it seems obvious, but at the time it was obviously a revolutionary thing. Animators photograph the sheets over a stationary background image to generate the sequence of images, basically, you know, how the animation was working, um, you know, technically even right now. Um, this as well as Bray's innovation use of assembly line method, this whole idea that be having the perforated holes and be able to like just like mass, um, have anybody kind of just go in and like kind of just like mass sheet these, these, these cells, these scenes. Um, it allowed Bray Studios to create um, a show called uh, uh, Col uh, Colonel He's a Liar. Colonel He's a Liar. He's a H-E-E-Z-A liar. Uh, the first true animated series that ever was made. Uh, many aspiring cartoonists started their careers at Bray, including Paul Terry, who, was, who was became, later became famous for Heckle and Jekyll, uh, Max Fleischer, um, uh, who became famous for Betty Boop and Popeye, and Walter Lance, uh, who basically was the person who created Woody Woodpecker. Um, some of the first cartoons from the Bray Studios were Farmer Alfalfa by Paul Terry and Bobby Bumps by Errol Hurd. Um, here's a bit of both. Um, two clips, watch as much as you want of each to show you like the early, early version of what animation looked like back then. <laughs> 